All right, guys, we're going to do another Justice Society of America issue number 15 from DC Comics with the Alex Ross cover. We're going to dive right in because this is not a banger, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so this is what happens, I believe. No, maybe this is Judgment Day. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I mean, the last issue we saw uh, Obsidian and his father, Green Lantern. Uh, and I thought it was the Green Lantern from uh, the Kingdom Come universe, but it's actually not. But he has the armor on uh, of the Kingdom Come, um, you know, back in the... Well, not back in the day, because it's in the future, but, you know, when the books came out. Uh, and he has also gray hair. And I remember him... Didn't he have blonde hair? I don't know. Maybe he has here grayish hair. Or maybe it says because it's a color correction. Not entirely sure. But, you know, in the Kingdom Come universe, he was actually old and uh, gray hair. So maybe they played into that. Anyway, um, <clears throat> sorry. See, you come to our home to ac attack our kids. You ask for this. When the people look up in the sky, they should see a true god, not this man. But Kingdom Come Superman says, I never said I was a god, a god, god. I made plenty of mistakes. Um, so Obsidian comes in and says, you only need to make him scream, Dad. I'll handle the rest. Uh, yeah, pretty formidable. So <laughs> Obsidian I basically dives into his mouth. Uh, this looks very Kirby to me, you know, this facial expression. Anyway, um, so he makes him blind. And because it says, there is no fear for the Shadowland to exploit. Normally, when somebody has fear... Um, Obsidian can exploit that, turning that against you or somehow. Um, but then he does this. So he's blind, and then uh, he's shooting blindly with the staff, right? Uh, we need to evacuate the park until we put this beast to sleep. So Flash says, how about pushing Gog away from the city and towards the water? So that's actually a good idea, but before they can do that, Gog uses his staff to put it in his mouth and blast Obsidian out, which is a really badass thing to do. I mean, you could have you turned your insides upside down. And then we go to Lightning and uh, Stargirl, and they have a, a conversation when I thought, what are you talking about? So she says, um, they said this was way too dangerous for me. So is driving a car because you got no li because you got a license. I used to have a license, Star Girl. Now everything's to every time I start to start a car, it shorted out. It's an electrical system. I can't drive. And you can use a cell phone, touch a computer, or flip a light switch. What's your point? My point is, when are you going to have another chance to let all that frustration out? Cool. So uh, the the leak. Well, sorry, society. Um, is, is still hammering on, on Gog, but then Lightning comes out, <laughs> comes in, and she said, Starka says, say hello, Lightning. I want to drive a car, she says. I want to drive a car. Interesting battle cry, <laughs> Sparky's God. Yeah, that was a funny bit. Um, anyway, so look at this. This looks cool. Uh, so Liberty Bell was, is the daughter of Jesse Quick, who, uh, you know, got a formula, made him super, you know, got super speed. He hanged out with uh, the Flashes. Uh, and at one point, before she got, a, a, you know, donned the mantle of uh, Liberty Bell, um, Jesse here called herself Jesse Quick. Uh, so she's using the formula to get super speed now. And I must say, personally, there are so many Flashes. I think her transition from... Uh, Jesse Quick to Liberty Bell was actually a good one. The costume looks really nice, very classic. The, the colors uh, pops really uh, uh, too. Uh, love the, the the logo on the chest, by the way. It's very nicely done. Anyway, so cool art from uh, Dale Eagleson. Love his work, and and the battle is is raging, and I love that it's brutal and it's going on. But then he punches Citizen Steel, and Citizen Steel says. Cannot be down. It's my. It's kind of my thing. It's kind of kind of my thing. And he rams him away. Uh, so yeah, finally, Citizen Steel is getting useful. Uh, then Judo Master comes in, who has the ability not getting hit by her opponent, and she is <laughs> throwing him around using her judo judo abilities. Calls him idiot because that's I believe what baka means in Japanese. But then. Uh, Gog uses his staff to make an explosion. He's been put out, right? She's been blasted away. Uh, meanwhile, the other uh, 
society members are collecting themselves, right? Suddenly, Satman comes in, right? So, um, where did that monkey come from, she says? Africa. It got sucked through the teleportation portal that brought that maniac here. Gog. That's not Gog, Ricky. The real Gog is somewhere else entirely. Gorgeous looking shot here. Look at this. He's going for the kill. Looks brutal. All blood over his face while the GSA has tried to get him. Right? Fantastic. Very, very nicely done. Um, but, you know, he is, he's basically too strong. And then uses his, his staff to create a boom. I believe it's a boom tube, right? Uh, going back to Africa. And uh, so Sandy says, um, um, I gave Midnight the exact coordinates. I meet you there. So he's, you know, drifting away. <laughs> That's how you say it. I don't know. Dissolving into sands, you know, and then going through the earth um, to Africa. So they're going uh, in, our, uh, in this mountain. And uh, so this guy says, uh, bang, and shoots his face off. You're messing with a real American soldier now, he says. I know who you are. I've seen you. You're going to die. <laughs> I know what he's doing. Doing some kind of a wrestling move. Kicks him in the gut. I'm not sure. Maybe a knee. So Sam comes in through the crust. Matthew, stop this. Talk to us. What does God wants? He wants to save us all, he says. You have to believe. There must be no other no false gods. Gog is our only hope. And then he says, blasphemy, says Gog. Right? Or, well, this is not Gog. Magog? Anyway. And then he, I don't know, kills him? So this guy is going, his power is going haywire too. And then Gog is being ripped apart, you know, atom by atom. And this creature is sucking him in, which I don't get. I mean... He is on your side, man. He's your, I don't know, emissary or something. Your, your tool, your pawn. And then you kill him? Why? So, um, then the, the grotto is caving in, but it's not caving in. I tracked Matthews to this temple when I was talking to the earth. It told me that Stonehead didn't belong. It's thousands of years old, but it's not from our world. It's from another. And then... People of Earth, he says. I come in peace. <laughs> yeah, right. I don't believe you, man. And that leads us to the next issue. All right, this was a fun one. Uh, I like reading this comic. This is full of surprises every time. The art is good. The story is very engaging. I love seeing those characters, those old characters, those new characters. And, uh, you know, it keeps me on my toes. Every, every book has a nice cliffhanger that once you get the next one. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this. We're going to continue the series as long as it's fun. And then we see where this is going. Have a great day and see you on the next one.